I'm Mariah Milano. This is DinnerWithMariah.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're making traditional Italian meatloaf. So I've got a head start and I'm sauteing one small onion and three cloves of minced garlic because that has to cool off. You don't want to cook it or caramelize it. You just want to sweat it a little bit. So that's what we're doing with our onion and our minced garlic. And I'm only using about two tablespoons of olive oil with this because I don't want it really oily. See how it's just starting to get a little bit translucent? That's what, exactly what we want. So now we're going to take this off the heat and put it on the cutting board so it can cool down. While our onion and garlic are cooling off, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I spread my onion and garlic out thinly so it'll cool faster. So here's our ingredients. Four hard boiled eggs, one fourth cup of breadcrumbs, two and a half pounds of turkey, one raw egg, Parmesan cheese, cut salami, provolone cheese, parsley, and of course our onions and garlic that's cooled off and ready to be put in the glass bowl. So let's do that. And we're using sharp provolone and Genoa salami. So now we're going to put in our breadcrumbs, our parmesan, and our parsley. Now we're going to add our turkey. So we're just going to dump it in here. And now I'm going to get my hands dirty and we're going to mix it all up. Hands are the chef's best tool. Really get in there. I've added my salami and now it's ready to be put on the baking sheet. I added olive oil on my parchment paper just so nothing will stick. You want to kind of lay it a little bit flat. So see how I'm pushing it around. So I laid my meat nice and flat. Look how pretty this looks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sharp provolone cheese along the middle of it. it. Smells so good. I love this cheese. Now I'm going to lay my eggs on top of my provolone. Now I'm going to take the rest of my provolone and I'm going to lay it on the sides of the hard boiled eggs. We Italians don't put ketchup on our meatloaf. I'm going to fold this up and you just do a little bit section by section. Look how pretty this looks guys. Just try to close it up and make it even so it cooks evenly. Now we're going to put some salt and pepper on it. I always use kosher salt guys. Now we're going to pepper it. Now it's ready to go in the oven. So this is going to go in for about 45 to 50 minutes. Beautiful. Okay guys, I think we're ready. It's been 50 minutes. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Oh, it smells incredible. This is exciting. Wow, well, look at all that provolone that came spilling out of there. It smells so good, you guys. You have no idea. And it looks amazing, too. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So we're going to lift it with our parchment paper to get it on our platter. We're going to do a nice little trick and we're going to slide our parchment pa paper right from under our meatloaf. Yay! How pretty is that? Okay, so our meatloaf is done. So now we're going to cut. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. 
So now it's time to plate my dish. Oh wow, this smells so amazing guys. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Mm. It's the best meat I've ever had, I swear to God. I was taking my bite. Holy shit. Alright guys, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'm Mariah Milano. This is thenorthmariah.com. Not part of the egg.